three, three, two, two, one, one. Got a blast. What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody feeling? And today, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make an incredible Jordan pool build. Okay, so first things first, what you're going to see, you see Jordan pool, man. He's smiling right now, but this is from the Warriors for sure. This is when he had that short hair. But now you see that this man is on the um, Wizards, and this is his look now, the afro and the beard. Okay, when he was on the Warriors, he was all happy and dandy. When he went to the Wizards, I don't know, man, that, that you know, happiness didn't really last as long, it seemed like. Right? So now, <clears throat> excuse me. So first things first, 92 driving layup. We already know how good the driving layup is this year. So 92, I believe this gives you, what, slithery or something like that. But on gold, 92 is great. Standing dunk, he has a 45 standing dunk. You can get standing dunks with a 45 this year. That is absolutely amazing. Driving dunk at a 60 is going to be nice. Um, close shot at a 79 is going to also be really good. I speak highly about close shot. And he has a 79. Even though he's 6'4", shooting guard, you want to have close shot. I speak so highly about having a close shot. All right? Now, uh, mid-range and three-point shot is low. Because before, it was a little higher. But now that we're like, oh, we're going into the new year of the NBA season. Excuse me. His shooting is not that good. You know, he's not playing like the Jordan Poole that we've known to see him on the Warriors, but he just dropped a 30-point game. So, you know, he got, listen, to me, Poole is still good. A lot of people talking crazy about Poole, but like I said, he was, he was a great player. And um, that's the only thing that I'm really focusing on is that, the, you know, the second option when it came to, like, scoring, he he started becoming the second option because Clay wasn't, you know, being consistent. 87 free throw, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, 87 is great, but to me, all you all you need is 80, just so you can get the free points on silver. There's some post control there at a 44, so that's pretty cool. Now we're looking at the playmaking. So what you're gonna see is the pass accuracy is an uh, 83, 89 ball handle with an 80 speed with the ball. So that's really really nice. Okay, that's gonna be really good, my people. Now, the defense, he's not known as a defender, so I'm not surprised that his defense is so low, to be honest. So we're not really going to even talk about this. Um, there's nothing here. I think you may get maybe one bronze badge or something, or four pass, something. I don't know. So we're not going to speak on that. But the physicals is definitely there. 81 speed, 81 acceleration, 61 strength. A 73 vert and an 80 stamina. That is absolutely terrible. Stamina, you're an NBA player and you only have 80 stamina. Listen, don't worry, I'm gonna fix that. So, without further ado, let's go to the my play builder and create the one and only Jordan Poole. All right, my people, we are in the my play builder as you can see. First and last name Jordan Poole, right hand jersey number is 13. We're making a shooting guard, so you want to go shoot to the shooting guard position, 6'4. You want to go 194 right here and go 6'7 on the wingspan. My favorite part is making the build and adding attributes. So let's do this right now. First thing, we're starting with a 93 on the stamina. This is gonna unlock some good badges once we add and playmaking and some other stuff. The vertical, we're going 73 because that's what he had, all right? I decided to just max out the strength on, even though he only had a 60, what, 63, 62, something like that. I decided to max it out. We're giving him his exact um, attributes for the acceleration. Acceleration 81 with an acceleration of an 81 as well. This is his exact ones. We're going to skip this and we're going to go back up to the finishing. So 81 on the close shot is going to be great. Why is it great? Because of that fast switch. You see it on the right hand side. Fast switch is going to be absolutely amazing. Now. Driving layup, we're going to a 91. Yes, we are going with a high driving layup. That slithery on gold is going to be insane. All of the badges that you see on the right hand side is going to be absolutely amazing to have. Okay, if you know what you're doing with the uh, meter, 
layup timing, you are going to cook. I'm telling you now, you are going to cook with the layup timing because to me, it's broke. Okay, the layup timing is broke on NBA 2K24. And to be honest, I kind of like that it's broke because it's fun. It, it allows people to dominate with layups this year. Usually layups was trash. Dunking was the way to go, but people are skipping dunking this year to get more layups because the badges that you get with this is unbelievable. All right, so driving dunk, we're only going to a 60. That's going to be more than enough to get the basic rim grazes and a couple other NBA dunk packages. We're going with 45 standing dunk because that's what he had. And then the post control, we're only going 45 because he had low post control, all right? So for the mid-range, I'm going 77. I went 77 with this. I could have just went 76, but I just went 77. You see, we get catch and shoot, silver, green machine, silver, guard up, silver, space creator, uh, or spot finders there, comeback kid, midi magician, open looks, great badges to have, whistle was also there. And for the three-point shot, I went with an 82. I know he had it low, I just went 82 on a three-point shot. So this right here is gonna be great, okay? I'm not giving him no 79. Like, I know he's not playing the best, but come on, pull the stood that guy to me. Free throw, we are going with an 80 on the free throw because we're gonna get free points, which is great to have. Free points is gonna help us be able to shoot the free throw with no issues. Pass accuracy, we're going with an 83 on the pass accuracy because that's what his exact pass attribute was. So as you can see, that needle threader, relay passer, special delivery, touch passer, break starter, dimer, great to have. Now he had an 89, I decided to go with a 90, okay? We're going 90 instead of 89. 90 just looks better. And I think we also unlocked some great um, dribbling um, animations at a 90. So that's gonna be good. 81 on the speed with the ball, which is gonna also be great. Now we're going to the defense, only 50 on the interior, my people. 71 on the perimeter. See, so I made it a little better. So you're gonna be able to get challenger. Still, we're going 60. Why? Because we want that interceptor. The block, just go 45 on the block. You wanna go 35 on the offensive, and then the rest we're putting to our defensive for 40. So, you see the build. This build is actually really good. This is not a, this is not a bad Jordan Poole build. This is actually really good. You can dominate with this build. The ball handling is there. This is what your third highest attributes besides your stamina and your driving layup. Not bad. Not a bad Jordan Poole build at all. The fearless finisher on gold is going to be insane. Like that is crazy just to look at it. So fearless is going to be insane. Um, we see what else badges that we get. Well, we get all silvers. We got a couple of gold badges there. Unpluckables there, speed booster. Yeah, this is probably the best Jordan Poole build that you're gonna find. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build. And until next time, much love.